Hey everybody, this is your friend, your brother Derek Day, and I uh, want to talk to you today on this Friday, the sunny Friday morning, about character. What is character? Well, the, the working definition that I like to use for character is who you are when no one is looking. You know, it's easy to be one way in, in front of a lot of people, but it's another thing entirely to be who you are when no one is looking. And part of the issue of character is I think that a lot of us are really not un are really not comfortable with ourselves. Um, you know, Jesus said that uh, we're to love God with all of our heart, mind, and strength, and to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Uh, so, if you have an issue with self-love, it's a good chance that your character will be impacted by that. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that we're the same person no matter what our circumstances, that we're the same person no matter what our situations, no matter what happens, no matter what comes, what goes, that we are who we are. And that stems from a sense of identity. You really have to know who you are in Christ in order to really know who you are. Because the, the thing is, is that Jesus is the image, the express image, the author of Hebrews says, of God. So with Jesus being the express image of God and that we're remade in his image, then that means that we are to look like him. And so our character should reflect his character, that our nature should reflect his nature. And and here's the thing, we, we need to be the same no matter what I mean it's it's listen what do you do when no one's looking do you uh, do you lie cuss or steal uh, but when you're when you're around uh, a crowd of people when you're around your church friends or whatever that you're that you're pious and holy or or, or vice versa I mean in other words we need to be consistent character is a matter of consistency and again consistency has to do with uh, with our our nature and our inherent nature in Christ so if we're really truly living out the Christ life we're living out a life of self-love we're living out a life of understood identity we're living out a life of, of manifesting the the character and the nature of God to others amen so when we are people of character, we're people who are consistent, we're people who, uh, that continue to do uh, what, what we do no matter what. And it's, it's not just, here's the thing, not just doing the right thing, but it's doing the right thing when no one's looking. If someone drops their wallet, what do you do? Especially if it's full of money, what do you do? Do you keep the money or do you say, hey brother, you, you drop something here and you return it? or if you find a suitcase full of money, do you keep it and say glory to God? Or do you turn it over to the authorities? Um, what do you, I mean, when you're at work, do you take pencils or, or paper from work for your own personal use? This, these are issues of character. Uh, what do you do um, in the in the privacy of your own home? What do you do uh, when everyone goes to bed at night? What do you do in the car when you're in the commute from work? How do you how do you think? How do you talk? What what goes through your mind? What comes out of your mouth? And all of that is a reflection of character. Now, again, when we exhibit the character of Christ, then we manifest the fruit of the Spirit and the chief fruit of the the fruit of the Spirit is love. So again, if we are to be people of character, to represent the character and nature of God, then love should be chief of what we do. And I hope that that blesses you, and I hope that that gives you encouragement for a Friday morning. Let's be people of character. Let's be people that, that no matter what, that they see the true image of us in all that we do, and likewise, that in all that we do, that they see the image of Christ. Remember, God loves you, and so do I. I uh, want to tell you some, uh, some exciting news that on March 11th and 12th, Jeremiah Johnson 
will be at Agape Dominion Outreach at 16606 North Parkview Place in Surprise, Arizona, 85374. He will be preaching that Sunday and that Saturday we're working on an event that I think that is going to um, help reshape our communities and reshape um, uh, our attitudes toward one another. Uh, I, I'm really excited about that and I'm kind of keeping that under my hat. And then on March 25th and 26th, we're going to have the incredibly awesome Henry Harris coming to Agape Dominion. That Saturday on the 25th, Henry will be doing a, a live uh, videotaping, uh, interviewing me on my book, Deconstructing Religion. And then on Sunday, he will be preaching the gospel. And I am truly, truly excited about those things. And also, if you have not received or purchased your, your own copy of Deconstructing Religion, what are you waiting for? Let's get, get to Amazon.com, get a copy of it in paperback or on your Kindle. It makes a great gift. If you want to help somebody um, be freed or liberated from the shackles of religion, I believe that this book is going to go a long way toward helping. So I hope that, you, uh, that you'll pick those up. And again, if you have any questions that you would like to have answered through the lens of God's unconditional love and grace, shoot me an, uh, a message on um, facebook.com forward slash Derek Day Ministries or at DerekDay.com forward slash contact. I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to take a stab at answering your question through the lens of God's unconditional love and grace. Again, God loves you and so do I. Y'all stay blessed. Bye.